What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to uh, another episode of the In the Mouth of Madness podcast. Um, I am one of the hosts, Kevin Porter, along as always with this is Brandon Allen, and this is a uh, Dustin Barron. I think you think. Ugh. I don't know. Could be Dustin Barron Jr. I don't know. Is your dad? Could... Is your your dad's not name isn't Dustin? No, so I guess it would just be Dustin Barron. It's a good name. It's a not, strong name, dude. It's not the Dustin Barron from Seattle that fucking is. Accused of doing a bunch of drugs and stealing cars and doing meth. That's just the that this Dustin Barron. You only have a couple things there in common there, you know, like doing drugs and stealing cars. Uh, Nothing else. Probably alcohol, but that's about it. <laughs> there you go. So what's up, guys? How you guys doing, man? We're 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 back with our third episode. We're continuing our retrospective of John Carpenter. Um, yeah. We're 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 going. We're uh, adding a movie companion for Escape from New York, dude. What are you guys is. Initial thoughts going into the this podcast today. Well, Escape from New York is a great fucking film. Oh yeah, I grew up uh, watching this movie, and you can't go wrong. Kurt Russell and any old school action. I fucking watch this movie about ten thousand fucking times. I love it. And never gets old. This will be ten thousand and one. All right, guys. So again, this is a movie companion podcast. So, ladies and gentlemen, we fully expect that you have Escape from New York queued up some way, somehow, right now. Um, we'll go ahead on on the count of three. We're all gonna go ahead and press play on our respective devices. All right, guys, can I get a countdown? Three, three two, two one. one. Play, bitch. Here we go. We got a couple seconds right. going in, so and we're at the movie. The movie has officially <coughs> started. The MGM logo. And then we're just fucking going into the opening credit sequence. I wish I had one eye and was fucking named Snake. Let's go around and fucking call me Snake. So isn't that kind of just a play on a penis, right? With his tattoo? One eye, no, one eye, one eye Snake, dude. Think <laughs> <laughs> he meant it like that? Right. I never thought about that until just now, but... Right? I guess it also influenced uh, the video game character for Metal Gear Solid. Solid yeah, 100%, Snake. dude. 100%. He's got that tattoo coming up, that snake coming up out of his pants. It's true too. <laughs> so this is fucking, he's a one-eyed snake. It's his penis. So he's got, his name means penis. This is like the most badass fucking opening sequence music of all time. 
I use this music when I like work out or if I'm like getting ready to go do comedy. This is all my like, I'll listen to this to like pump me up, dude. Fuck yeah. Like John Carpenter's music, like his soundtracks or his scores are fucking amazing. His scores are the best. It's the best. Got Isaac Hayes in this shit. Hell Rest yeah, chef. Rest in peace. It's got everybody in it. It's got Donald Pleasance. Got uh, Steve Buscemi. I mean, no, he's not in this one. Harry Dean no, Stanton. Yeah, he's in there. Adrian Barboobs. Tom Atkins. Lee Van Cleef. Uh, it's Charles Cyphers again. Who's uh, Charles Cyphers? He's a guy in the fog that's like trying to hook up with Adrian Barbeau. He's the weather, the weather man. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's the guy that couldn't get any. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna take you to dinner. Harry <laughs> Dean Stanton, dude. Yeah, hell yeah, Harry Dean Stanton. Fuck. I mean. Do you think Ernest this is kind of like, this is like his, like... Dean Kundi again? Yep. Do you think this is like a peak for him, or like, because like... Because the peak was the thing. And the thing came out after this, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Because it was, it was Halloween was a big success, because he did uh, Assault on Precinct 13. Right. Um, he did Halloween, then he did like Elvis as a TV yeah, That's right, and that Kurt Russell was in that shit too, yeah. right? Yeah. And he did The Fog... Escape from New York and the thing and the thing was is his peak right there. And it was like what 83, 82? 82. 82. Okay. And then after that, he tried to do a few studio films. Uh, he did uh, Christine, um, Starman. He did. He did Christine. Yeah. Oh yeah, no shit. He did do Christine, oh, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, that's right. I've never actually seen that, but I've oh, never seen them in a, at the video store and whatnot. It's good. It's I'm very aware of Christine. But, uh, yeah, then he did, um, after that he got stuck, sick with the studio system and did, like, Prince of Darkness and They Live. And then he got back in the studio. No, actually, before he did that, he did uh, Big Trouble in China. This is uh, Jamie Lee Curtis right here. Well, she, I don't know. I don't know if she was in this movie. She's not. That is just her voice. Yeah. Or that she had anything to do with oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Well, I was just going to say the same thing. I don't fucking remember it. I didn't know that either. See? Oh, it is her voice. Yeah. <laughs> We're already dropping knowledge fucking, you know, two minutes into the fucking, three minutes into this fucking film. This is, this is only just around the corner, too. This shit right here. I think fucking this is what's gonna be happening here in the next ten Fuck years. Yeah, dude. New York City. Manhattan Island, they're just gonna be like, yep, yeah, you guys ever seen Escape from New York? We're gonna do that. <laughs> We're like, oh, okay. When Eric Trump becomes fucking president, that's Eric what's gonna Trump. happen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's ever gonna happen, because no one really gives two shits about Eric Trump. He's like the only one that's not in trouble right now. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, right? <laughs> 20, 22 years ago, just about, yeah. When this comes out, it'll be twenty-two years. Yep. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's a great shot. This movie's like forty years old. Though. So this is like a a dam or something they're at right now. Yeah. And so they take the camera and they pan it up, pass this little sign here into some shadows, mm -hmm. and then they pan back up and do a special effects shot. Oh, see, that was their cut. The cut was. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's good, dude. That's good. I see it. It is like a blue screen thing right here. They just kind of map uh, cityscape into the landscape. That looks beautiful. One of the special effects artists, one of the visual effects artists on this film, is James Cameron. Oh shit. Yeah. He does all like the map paintings and stuff. And. It, the way these visual effects are composited, it's just fucking brilliant. It's like, look at that, you can't even see the transition there between the actual shot and the map between the, in the, in the background there. No, it's, it's really hard to tell it. Like, why would you even try to get away? Like, I don't know. Like, it's the U.S. government, dude. They're going to catch you. It's like what we have today with our cell phones. Well, they seem to be having a hard time with the folks down on the Mexican border. Oh, fuck. Oh. Just blew those guys up. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of like what's going on on the Mexican border. 
We're gonna build a big wall, and then when they fucking try to swim over, just blow them up with their helicopter. Yeah, just but now you got the pussy liberals in the way, so it's kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, fear fascism, baby. Going to fascist America. So that was life. all a prop. Those were all prop sh- shots, right? That was a that was a composite of the, um, like animation, mm-hmm. with uh, a helicopter moving through. It's pretty. It's pretty complex. It's yeah, really I mean, it looks complex, day. dude. I, I just like the background, though. I mean, the background just looks. It looks fucking like a comic book or some shit. You know? Yeah. Well, there's, Here there's he Tom is. Mackins, Tom baby. Mackins, baby. Tom Mackins, baby. Tom Mackins, baby. <laughs> Very well. You got it. <laughs> boo boo. Okay, so this is at the Statue thing. of Liberty. They really so shot this at the Statue of Liberty? Yeah. Did this they really? Only, yeah, this is the only shot that's shot there. Wow. That one shot right there? Yeah, so here's going to do another transition shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see it go dark. Yep. yep. And then they're going to pan over and they're going to be at a dam somewhere. I don't remember exactly where. It's on the commentary. No, it or takes something. it back. Yeah, dude, that's fucking crazy, man. It's movie magic. Movie magic. And see, then they fucking pan over and they got this bus. I love it because everything's seemingly done in one shot. It's pretty interesting. Like, they would have had to map this all out, you know, knowing exactly what they were doing. Yeah. You know, with every single... Oh, yeah. Well, you have to in a movie yeah. anyways. You kind of have to know exactly what you're doing. All And that John Carpenter does brilliantly. Yep. How, how tall do you think Kurt Russell really is, dude? Like 5'9"? Yeah. Give him a little too Probably much. About six foot. I think he's six foot? I don't know. He just looks really short in that shot right there. Maybe those other guys are just really short? tall. Is Kurt Russell short or is he tall? I don't know. Somebody got to look it up on the telephone. Right, we got we to gotta pull that one up, dude. We got to use the magic of uh, 2019, guys. It's <laughs> the internet. Google. Google. How tall is... Kurt Russell. Because <laughs> those fucking cops could be wearing like kiss boots or whatever. To yeah. Looking kind of intimidating, yeah. I guess. That's what I was figuring. If not, those guys are just really fucking tall, too. Well, they've got these giant helmets on. Well, it does help. Look at that big retard on the fucking right there. <laughs> got <pretty laughs> dude, I got it right there, dude. Five foot nine, dude. <laughs> oh, nice. I called it. Right on. Thank you, Answers.com. <laughs> so you got that nice fucking... Tom Atkins, though. He's a tall dude. How tall is he? That's a good question. Okay, well, that, that website said 5'9", but if you go to the official Google page, they list him at 5'11", so 5'11 with shoes. That sounds about right. Yeah. There he is right there, fucking Lee Van Cleef. It's the bad from the good, bad, and the ugly It's cool because every time you see Tom Atkins in this movie, he's like smoking cigarettes. Tom Atkins is six foot, six foot one. Damn, he is tall, dude. Last time I went to the doctor, I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like five ten, right? And they're like, oh no, bro, you're five seven. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Five seven. Yeah, five nine on my good days. I tell him six foot, and they say I'm five eleven and a half, yeah. or five eleven three quarters, something like that. It's funny. So without shoes? Yeah. Fuck. Tom Atkins makes me want to smoke cigarettes again, guys. <laughs> makes, it, makes it look cool. Makes it look cool. <laughs> yeah, makes it look cool. He just all takes that fucking drag and then just goes into his fucking dialogue, dude. <laughs> Looks looking badass. See, this whole scene is in one shot. It's fucking psycho, nice. bitch. Oh, they all did. Did you see that? How they turned at the same time? <laughs> Think they planned that shit? Oh yeah. <laughs> Choreograph that shit. Yeah. Air Force One. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> That's the president's airplane. 
This is Donald Trump. Nobody give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they let the motherfucker crash. It's pretty cool with the, the fucking slit throat. Yeah. If you look, though, it's a really shitty one. Well, it kind of looks shitty, but, I mean, for the most part, I mean, I can, I can live with it. You know, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and kind of look like Well, I mean, I love shit like that, though. I love shit like that. Makeup effects and stuff, that's my thing. I'd probably come up with something like that myself. Actually, I have come up with stuff like that myself. The guy's not really, like, hitting it that hard. Just like, I was like, yeah, that guy's not even trying. Bam. That's uh, Gerald Ford's son. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Wow. Or something like that. I can't remember. Gerald Ford had to fuck. Who who who? Gerald Ford have to jerk off to get his son? <laughs> John, John Carpenter <laughs> owes me a personal favor. <laughs> Jimmy, you want to be in a movie? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Anything for you, Gerald. Like a Donald Pleasance. It's not a John Carpenter movie without Donald Pleasance in it. That's what's missing from the thing is fucking like Donald Pleasance. If you should have played the old man. Yeah. I thought the guy that did the... Wilford Brimley's fucking yeah, he brilliant. He does a great job, dude. He's brilliant in everything he does. I love fucking Wilford Brimley, but... It's always a treat to see fucking Donald Pleasance. He was a POW in Japan in World War II. And that's where he... Uh, where is he, a lot where of is his... he caught at? Um, I can't remember. I'd have to look it up. Look at that miniature shot right there. So just like fucking zoom the camera up to it? Yeah. At least I didn't hit the World Trade Center. <laughs> <laughs> John Carpenter, you know, back in 2001, he's like, well, I thought about it. <laughs> I was really going to do it, but fucking Al-Qaeda had to steal my fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, if they crashed into the World Trade Center, they both collapse, and then they wouldn't have anything to land a glider on. That's true. Yeah, I use that. Because uh, jet fuel melts steel beams, remember? That's right. And cuts them, cuts them in half like a fucking yeah. shape charge, remember? Yeah, I remember, dude. That's how it works. So what the Warren Commission says. <laughs> I believe the Warren Commission. <laughs> word for word, bro. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. There's a, there's a fucking... The more green screen? Yeah, like, like, more special effects. Is that a green screen that they do? Because I would assume that the water is actually there, right? Like the water, because they, if so. they, they do it on a soundstage, they can get it like above like a pool or something. Well, it's not. It's a. It's an animation that they oh, put. So there's one layer. Oh, okay. Is <coughs> the dam? Uh huh. And then the water, uh -huh. and then the cityscape, and then you put the helicopters in over that. Mm. Okay. Like there's a part in here where they're like landing a helicopter in a park. And they did is they just painted the, the the buildings in on a piece of glass and put it in a way on the camera where it's looking like buildings are coming up over the trees and it's supposed to be like Central Park or something, but it's really not. Wow. And this Jim Cameron who did the paintings on that. It's pretty cool, old school special effects kind of thing. Yeah, you don't see that anymore. No, because you can do it on computers. It's a lot easier. Hey, you kind of just miss it though, I guess. Yeah. I miss miniature work really myself for like spaceships and like things like that. Because you can do miniatures and CGI them in something pretty easily. Or digitally put them in there with the computer. Like, I don't know. I, I don't like it when they like put computers in for something that can be done with makeup effects. That's something I don't like. Right. But like... like when they overdo it, it's too fucking fake. Yeah. Yeah. Like we're rolling in, guys. Manhattan fucking island. Where's the president? Where's, Where's that the fucking great, president? <laughs> Everybody's looking for that president's ass. <laughs> I like this part. Yeah, this guy's a really good actor. This crazy guy. Yeah. He looks fucking crazy. Yeah, he's always good at playing roles like this. He was in Assault on Precinct 13 as well as kind of a similar role. He shoots this little girl. It's pretty cool. I thought that was David Bowie when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's their best impersonation of him, right? <laughs> Does it look like David Bowie? Yeah. 
come back in, he got it. Here's a finger. Uh-oh, better get out of there. What do you want? 17, 16. I fucking hate New York. I want to go somewhere else. <laughs> Send me to fucking Florida, right? Send him to L.A. <laughs> All right. Big Apple, my ass. <laughs> Would you consider this a dystopian film or an apocalyptic film? What's... Hmm. Dystopia is the opposite of utopia. Yeah. He's right here. Utopia is like the ideal society and a dystopia is like yeah, a unknown. oppressive society oh, okay. or like a dark future well, I, society. I would probably say a dystopia then, dude, because like apocalyptic would be like everybody's at fucking war, but the government's pretty much well in control here. Yeah, but, there's control but New York is a very apocalyptic kind of location in the film, though. Manhattan? Yeah, that's a good point. So there's Charles Cyphers right in the background there. He's also the sheriff in Halloween. And he played a cop in uh, Assault on Precinct 13. He's a bunch of John Carpenter. Yeah, he shit. is in fucking Halloween, right? Yeah. Dangerous, sir. I know. I'll be okay. He's like, I know you pussy. I'll be okay. Like, Fuck you. Get out of my sight. What's up, Snake? Whip it out. On the table, right there. <laughs> Take him off. Call me Snake. Call me Snake. Can't keep your ass out of the world. <laughs> you know, you keep watching the movie forgetting about the fucking podcast. It's that good of a movie. <laughs> it's like, no, let's just watch the movie. I know, it's just like, no, let's just not, we're not recording anything right now. It's like, yeah, let's just, let's just... Well, I don't know what else to say about this part. Like, they're just kind of, you know, they're... Police commissioner. Out of Get a new presence. Special Forces Unit Texas Thunder. We heard you too, Snake. Where we take <laughs> Yeah, he just wants to get down to business. <laughs> like he makes me want to smoke a cigarette. I know, like, everybody yeah. smokes cigarettes. <laughs> you should just start a light up cigarette. <laughs> we'll, we'll fucking do it on the podcast. Right. Special occasions, right, guys? President what? President what? You go in. You find the president, bring him out in 24 hours, and you're a free man. I'll jerk you off, person. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. I think about it. Get a new president. You need him alive. Watch your war. Fuck or your president. You fuck about your war or your president. What a fucking badass. Yeah, I think I I'm sorry, but like I you know, I think Snake Pliskin's way is uh by, by far a, a superior character than um, the character you played on the thing. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I think so. It's way more badass. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you beat... You can't beat fucking Kurt Russell as Snake Bliskin, dude. No. When you come before, I told you I wasn't a fool. Call me Snake. Call me Snake. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you like that, don't you? <laughs> Fucking ninja stars? It's yes. Fucking, dude, it's a hardcore rape kit. <laughs> this all this could be yours, Bliskin. Yeah, there's like night dolls and everything. Fuck. See, Tom, he's still smoking. Look at him, dude. Look at him with that cigarette in his mouth. Just like fucking, just it's like just like hanging on to his lip, dude. Like that's a little bit of tiny saliva. Is fucking that's totally him when he's there. not smoking. Top of the World Trade Center, only place you can land. They won't 
see if you can take off from a free fall. On the roof is a service elevator. It's still operational. We use it to infiltrate the prison. Under the power box. It's fucking great shots. He's great fucking tracking shots. Very, technically, it's a very simple, simply shot film. Very few cuts. Shows direction and distance. And it's just like, fuck, we keep having dead air on this fucking thing. Yeah, that's, that's, it's not a, yeah, you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> well, yeah, because we have, if, they'll have watching a movie. Watching a movie, it, is watch, is the movie if, if, if people are following the rules at home, they're watching the movie with us. So we're all we're all yeah. fucking having this like you know one experience. You know where we're like you know talking in people's ears and shit. And, like, oh, there's Kurt Russell ready to get fucked by that guy. <laughs> We cut that scene down significantly. <laughs> it's all one shot, too. <laughs> well, Snake, this is where money's time, bitch. <laughs> Our time is money. I'm going to inject you. I'm going to sting for a second. I bet he is going to inject him. <laughs> Some barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> It's all fucking evil back there. He's like, you know what I just did to you? I fucking just shook you with HIV. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a bad I got the cure. And that tells you right there, the government's always had the cure, dude. <coughs> it's a government fucking conspiracy, mother. We just blend it on the gay people. It's okay. <laughs> Give you AIDS. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not talking about full blown HIV. AIDS. AIDS. It's actually super AIDS. <laughs> He's like, I can already feel it. My blood. <laughs> Fucking bald motherfucker. Snake, that's just the, that's just the AIDS like, talking. Uh, this is like 1981 where it was only gay people getting AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I said, man. The government was behind it the whole time. Yeah. They just blamed him. So Snake's not really concerned about really having the AIDS. It's more or less him getting called a f***er having the AIDS. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm Kurt Russell, damn it. <laughs> well, when news breaks out, you have AIDS. <laughs> Think again. <laughs> this fucking sequence right here. I'm Kurt Russell. Life is tough having AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to think about by walking around these fucking nice looking planes. <laughs> thinking how high I could fly in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much you can do for me. Hey man, you gotta put that cigarette in. <laughs> yeah, just throw it. It's like, yeah, I know how to fly this fucking thing. I'm ready. I'm fucking ready, bitch. Suppose he's dead, Howard. If I come back without him, you burn these things out. Get them both back, Blizzard. You fucking bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Good. (laughs) No snake. For all I know, you're just a guy with AIDS. We never even had that conversation. <laughs> 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 Fuck. What would you guys do if you were stuck in this situation? Mm. I'd try to locate Kobe Bryant. <laughs> See what he did. I mean, Maybe Magic Johnson? 
Or Magic Johnson. That's right. Kobe Bryant doesn't have AIDS, dude. That's Magic Johnson. <laughs> Whatever, they look the same. <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> if anybody has hate to say, <laughs> that's just the one that said fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it's dropping well, I just said that basketball players look the same. Yeah. <laughs> it's like your raisins comment on the first episode. Yeah, we were talking about raisins. You guys think that's a miniature shot right there? Yeah. It's <laughs> I like to build a little lady bit in New York. I only know, no, see, that's I only know that. Shot you told right me there. Now, yeah. See, that's a composite too. That, you, you could tell. You remember as a kid those planes that you threw, those styrofoam planes that you threw? And fucking, yeah. Yeah, that's what that reminds me of, that plane. It's pretty much what it is. It's just a big giant one of those because it's just is a little it really? lighter. Yeah. That makes sense. So it doesn't really have a propulsion yeah, system. Yeah, it's not like, like, yeah, it's all just gliding and shit. Yeah. Right? I just remember how sense. often they fuck up. Yeah, they always fucked up, dude. Yeah. Especially if they did those like hard nose dives and fucking broke. And Breaking like, in half. And you're like fucking that. yelling at your mom. You're like, Mom, you paid six dollars for this piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. And, and then they yell at you for fucking complaining about it. Yeah, they're like, you be fucking grateful, son. So he doesn't do any good to bitch about it. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you. <laughs> you're grounded. You're fucking grounded this week. So now he's gonna have to crash land on this. Or he's not. Gonna, he's gonna land on this thing. I think if he overshoots that. Look at that, dude. I know, and like, look at technology and like... Dude, that's like fucking virtual boy graphics. <laughs> Except it's green. You know what's cool about those shots there with like the grids and stuff? Is that's all kind of like, that's just like a box with like green lines drawn on it that they shot. So it's not done on a computer, it's an actual like... I can't, I, I, yeah, I think that's how they explained it. Like light break? I don't know exactly. I'd have to watch the thing again. It's on the other disc somewhere. It's pretty cool though. I do yeah, I haven't even it. watched like the special features on this shit. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty interesting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have the time, dude. I barely have time to watch these movies now. It's like I remember as a kid though, dude. Like you used to dissect that shit. Like oh, I remember yeah. as a teenager, dude. I don't always watch the special features. Oh, yeah. And commentary. I remember watching the commentary on It, dude, the miniseries. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. <laughs> John Ritter's on that shit. <laughs> what would happen with John Ritter? Hmm? What would happen with John Ritter on It? Is it, is it what's his name? Fucking played Ben? Yeah. Yeah. Was he, like, he was on the commentary. He was just talking shit the whole time. Oh, was he really? <laughs> yeah. I don't think they, any of them were talking shit. I'm just making that up. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Tommy Lee Wallace was like, I made up my way through it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, see, that's where they put the bomb. That's where the government put the bomb, bro. 50th yeah. floor. John Carpenter, you better start talking. Shut the fuck up. I wonder what Kurt Rad or Kurt Russell's reaction was on 9 11. Like, was he like, oh, fuck, I used to be in that building for, fucking <laughs> for this one movie? This is actually in St. Louis. I oh, think. they shot that in St. Louis? Yeah, oh. actually, they shot this movie in St. Louis because a part of it burnt down and they didn't repair it. So all this, like, shit is just kind of, like, in the streets and stuff. So, like, when they're on the, the ground right here, this is St. Louis? Yeah. Cool. Why don't they shoot, like, shit in St. Louis anymore? Like, why? Yeah, they, 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 they do sometimes. Do they? Yeah, once in a while. I mean, you always hear, like, Toronto, Vancouver, New Orleans. This is cheaper in those places, really. Yeah. And then California is still, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know why they don't shoot movies here. Shit. The ta they don't get the tax breaks. Yeah, that's true. They've done a couple movies, but they're like shit that nobody would ever fucking hear about unless you, like, subscribe to your local newspaper. <laughs> well, they did the James Franco movie here in, in Yakima here a couple years ago. Yeah, but that was like a... That was like a... Was it like an independent film type? Yeah. Thing? But I mean, it's still, still cool, James though. Franco. Yeah. I mean, the show. I mean, it's cool. Well, fuck James Franco. Franco. Vincent D'Onofrio was in it. Uh, so I haven't seen that. Have you seen the movie? No, I haven't seen that. I was just disappointed because it showed them all up in the orchards and didn't show James Franco or nothing. But they showed Vincent D'Onofrio, and I was like, "Fuck! I wish I'd been there." I know because they were looking for extras. And shit. Yeah, and had a full beard and everything. Yeah, I know. I didn't even apply for it either. I didn't really give a shit too much about yeah, it. Yeah, they're like, oh, James Franco. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about James Franco. But he didn't even show up. It was Vince D'Onofrio that was here. I was like. 
Well, fuck oh, if I know it was Vin- here? It, yeah. Oh no shit. If I'd known it was Vince D'Onofrio, I would have fucking the thing. Yeah. I would have been on the thing. Right. Or maybe he was. I don't know. I don't I think, think he was, was dude. No, they they said he was. No. Who gives a fuck whether he was or not? Fuck James Franco. Man, I like mm-hmm. part, I like Pineapple Express, man. It's the best movie ever. <laughs> Best part of Alien Six is where he fucking dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I saw like that. Was it? Have you seen Your Highness? No. With him and Danny McBride. No. That's pretty funny. It's like stoner comedy. Yeah, yeah it's fun. I heard a little bit about it, but yeah. Here comes Buck Flower. We talked about this in the fog one. Is every time I pull it up to like. Share it with somebody that plays a little bit and always plays the part that we talk that we, that's on here. This scene right here where he goes into the underground looking for the president. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Go on, the president, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and who who was he on the foggy? I have a really shitty memory. Buck Flower. He was one of those uh, gay guys on the fish. Oh hole. yeah, that's right. That's right. And he's also the bum and they live... Allegedly gay, Brandon. Allegedly. That man had a wife. Well, fuck, dude, he's floating around on a boat fucking guys. <laughs> I'm fucking film. Like, Let's get drunk guys and just like lay together. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. My wife won't cuddle me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it happens, dude, right? Wife shuns him away. Hey, I'll, I'll go get a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck fucking pussy. <laughs> I love this scene, dude. Oh, yeah. Look how fucked up that guy is. Is it like 12 beers right there? No, bro. These are all Red Bulls. <laughs> Shitty Red Bulls. He's all passed out. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, my heart. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> I love old theaters. So they, they shot this in an actual theater, right? Yeah. I think it's demolished now. Or it's either that or it's restored. I think it's restored, actually. Now here's a real fucking actor coming up here. Oh, yeah. Like Ernest Borgnine, baby. You guys ever seen Wild Bunch? I actually haven't. No. He's a fucking badass in that fucking movie. This one, he's kind of funny, but he's usually known for being like an asshole, a fucking jerk. A you guys hear a trumpet? Badass. You guys playing the trumpet, but like I don't hear it. I only hear the kazoo and a fucking piano. And then the acoustic guitar. Right there. So I know that guy. Hey, it's Nate Bliskin. <laughs> yeah, I did ride my cab once. Colin. Yeah, it's the Colin. Colin J. Scary shot, dude. I'm a fanboy, guys. <laughs> Whoop it out. <laughs> Come on, I want to see it. Let me see the one-eyed snake. Wow, what a legend. Wow, what, that piece. Beautiful. I just want to see it once. Can I touch it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it before. Why don't, you, why, don't you touch it? why don't you touch it and pull on it for me a little bit while I watch? I'm a little rubbing dog. Makes is it is it getting harder? <laughs> <laughs> this bar is pretty fucked up. Is the person dead? No, she's just all fucked up. Oh, they're like raping her. Yeah. Yeah, whatever, dude. Like, at least we're not raping people right now. Right? <laughs> we might be saying fucked up things, but at least we're not doing that. Yeah, anymore. right. <laughs> not bad people, guys. <laughs> I feel like we'll start a fire. We'll start a fire. Nice night. <laughs> he wants to come. Give me a blowjob for a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Fuck you, bitch! Hey, I'm just offering blowjobs. 
don't know, I don't know those guys. <laughs> Come up right. He shot in the mouth. Oh. <laughs> I ain't got no teeth. <laughs> Fucking him up, dude. That's what you get. Stay away. <laughs> Love that fucking guy. He plays good crazy. Just like a miracle. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> oh, fuck. In, in, in maybe just an impact on the mechanism itself. Mm-hmm. All right, get your machine ready. I'm coming out. 18 hours, Piston. Listen to me, Hawk. The president is dead. You got that. Somebody's the president dead. is dead. <laughs> like trying Pence. to find that pee pee tape. God like damn Pence it. has to take over. <laughs> Let Mike Pence take over. Oh. <laughs> like, really, guys? You want Mike Pence as your president? <laughs> but I love Mike Pence. <laughs> <laughs> What a fucking, what a lame day. He's from Indiana, man. I love Indiana. Look at that fucking shot right there. It's beautiful, dude. Fucking lit it all the way down that fucking street right there and shit. Ooh, does it make you hotter? <laughs> the light. They said the cool thing is they really didn't have to do too much to this street to make it look yeah, like that. Yeah, that's how shitty New York is. Oh, seriously? Fuck. Yeah, it's old St. Louis. Yeah, it's just a shitty St. Louis. <laughs> oh, St. Louis, that's right. Yeah, that's a fucking dump. <laughs> I had the chance to drive up to St. Louis, and my friend was just like, no, you don't want to fucking go there. <laughs> yeah, fuck St. Louis. It's an egg! Easter egg, bitch. Where's the Easter egg? Goldie Hawn was giving an answer. <laughs> Actually, his current wife is in this movie. Or not his current wife, but his, cur- his wife at the time. Is it? Oh, he was okay. doing the film. When movie. did he? Like, yeah, because he 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 met her on the Overboard, right? Yeah, that's a fucking under under uh, what's that? What's underrated? That? Underrated film, dude. I like Overboard, dude. That's a really funny film. It's a good movie. Yeah. Then comes those fucking freaks. Kills that have eyes type people. <laughs> it's like, God damn it, I'm trying to die from AIDS over here. Like, <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a callback. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember when he said AIDS earlier. Yeah, that was funny. He's <laughs> like, yup, do I gotta fucking fuck some people up? Like how he just has, you know, straight confidence walking down the street, dude. He doesn't give a fuck, dude. Yeah. At that moment, he forgot about his AIDS. Uh-oh. Oh, the drills, bro. Hey. You got a pizza? Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Skate got more of that AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> I ate that shit for breakfast. <laughs> Nutritious. <laughs> okay, snack. I'm gonna hip hop down the street. Are they like, skipping? That's cool. I like that. Why do they? Why are they coming up at night? What's the whole significance of these people? They're just fucking like urchins. Well, yeah, they live underground. Yeah, and so, so they're, they're underground dwellers, and they only yeah, and so they only come out at night. Oh, because like the sun like hurts them or something. They're like. But they're just freaks. They're just fucking creepy, crazy people. Yeah, like rapey people. I don't know. They look rapey. Maybe. They look fine. I think rapey. Smashing Pumpkins made a song about that. And it was called We Only Come Out at Night. We Only like, Come Out yeah. at Night. <laughs> we Only Come Out <laughs> at Night. The sun is much, much too bright. bright. We Only, only come, come Out at Night. 
You a cop? See, that's his wife when he was doing the movie. Oh, no shit. Yeah, that's his fucking wife. I didn't know that. I got this dick. <laughs> Smoke that. Those hundreds? Sorry. Smoking hundreds right there? Yeah. Fuck. I forgot about hundreds. It's like my dude. mom's fucking cigarettes, 120s and shit. I need more tobacco, <laughs> so I have to add an extra half an inch onto this thing. Well, really, a lot of times it doesn't, it's actually Less. added a half an inch to the filter. Well, guys, I'm going to bid you a moment of uh, interruption as I walk outside and take a piss. Nice. I got to pee, too. We will go in rounds. I'm an asshole. Hey, wait a minute. You sneak, please, can you? Yeah, but I heard you were dead. No, it's just full blown AIDS. Why? What you doing with me, you gun snake? Looking for somebody. Who? The president. <laughs> She's like, fuck the president. <laughs> That guy wants to build a wall. <laughs> Trying to find this PP tape. We've got AIDS too. Why? <laughs> He's like, why? Uh oh. Oh, well, I guess. I guess you're right. They're pretty rapey, aren't they? Yep. Your next snake. <laughs> <laughs> Get that tired ass right over here. <laughs> we just want to tug on you a little bit. <laughs> he bore you out. Whip it out. <laughs> Whip it out, snake. Come on. <laughs> I'm Kurt Russell. I'm having AIDS. It's no easy. <laughs> I have to run from these guys constantly. Day night. See, they think I'm this guy named Snake Bliskin who's got a big fucking dick. <laughs> and I'm trying to avoid them. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, blew that fucking guy's hand off. Nice. This part is pretty cool. This fucking shoots through the wall. Just like in the cartoons. Bam. Well, evasion's not necessarily the strong suit. Or stealth, I should say. Oh, he dropped his radio. I thought that was a smoke. It's like, fuck, dude. You know this. <laughs> <laughs> this part's pretty cool. Is Michael Jackson going to pop out? Woohoo! <laughs> it's a smooth criminal. That'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> oh shit, it's this guy again. <laughs> hey, it's me, Ernest Borgnine. You ever watch uh, Dick? You ever watch SpongeBob? Dude, I can't watch that fucking show, man. Really? You don't like Spongebob? I fucking hate Spongebob. I love Spongebob. He plays uh, Aquaman in it. Say, let me go! Bam! And my bladder is clear. I got to take a piss now, too. Says. My turn. Yeah. <laughs> Your turn. Yeah. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at, Dustin? Uh, so far, uh, Snake Plissken got away from a bunch of those uh, underground rapists. Oh, yeah, that's right, because the chick got pulled down. Yep. Yep. The chick got pulled down, and uh, he went through this alley, and they were still tailing him, and then this guy showed up and picked him up. 
It's pretty much where we're at. Okay, okay. Thanks for catching me up, bro. <laughs> hey, that was pretty good catch no, up, wasn't bro, it? No, no, it was good. Damn good. Oh yeah, that's right. He's got to fucking crack down, track down the Duke. Yep. Duke's got the president, motherfuckers. He's gonna fucking kill you. Love that music. Oh yeah. Love the music. Yeah, the way they did the lighting and everything. I mean, that looks fucking beautiful, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy that it's all St. Louis. Yeah, this whole fucking town. I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea either. So I, the I, New Yorker should be pissed off then, giving them a bad rap. <laughs> I bet New York's just as bad. I don't know. I've already like the rats at fucking infest up there, dude. Rats are scary to me, dude. I don't know. I don't want to see fucking rats. You ever see that movie Willard? I think so. Yeah, with about he controls the rats and all that shit. Yeah. That's fucking. I don't know. That shit's pretty cool. It's a cool fucking building. All right. Well, Brandon's back now. I guess it's my turn. <laughs> Are they gonna go visit Harry Dean Stanton? Yeah. Let's go see brains, brains and boobs. Brains and boobs. This is my favorite part of the movie when you see fucking Adrian Barboobza. Fuck yeah! This is the now we know why we call her Adrian Barboobs. Yeah, I know we we made mention of on Fox. Like, well, once we get to Escape from New York, that, that, the, the 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 cleavage game goes to a whole new level. Dude. Whole new fucking level, bro. Get the fuck out of here, Kevin! <laughs> Get out of here, you fucking creep. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Here we go. Oh. Booms! Come on. Snake. She's so fucking pretty, pretty, dude. She's so pretty. Look, like, I know we had sex the last movie. <laughs> <coughs> Bitch ass lungs over here, man. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck, dude. I think you're like I mean, allergic. This is like my third fucking bowl today. I think you're like allergic, dude. I smoked about it. fucking not have any cigarettes, maybe I have a pack. I didn't really, s I didn't really smoke anything today, dude. I got up and <coughs> went went to the skate park today. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, that was fucking cool, dude. There was this other dude that was there. He's maybe like a year or two older than me, man. He was like fucking rolling around with his kid too. I was like, he's about doing the same shit I was doing, dude. You know what I mean? Like he wasn't doing, we weren't doing much, but we we're still having fun out there. Damn, she's chesty. Oh my gosh. Man, she's fucking sexy, dude. Yeah. Even at like 70 or however old she is now, she's still fucking sexy, dude. Oh yeah. There he is. Now you're Dean Stanton. Smoked cigarettes until 92 <laughs> years old, right? He, I can't believe he fucking made it to 92 years old, dude. How do you how do you fucking fancy that, you know? He's been smoking cigarettes since he was fucking 15. 75 years. It's the only thing that was keeping him alive. That's kind of crazy, dude. It's like your body adapts, you know? Like, you know... <coughs> It's like, it's like Facebook. You gotta feed the beast. <laughs> feed the lungs. I gotta feed the lungs. Ooh. Right Don't even think about it. Damn, dude. <laughs> it's like you can't help but look at her the whole entire time, dude. <laughs> I'm looking for the man now. I can't, I can't even see the foreground of, this, of that shot. It's like we're snake again. <laughs> All right, I'm not even looking at snake guys. Nope. Asian bar boobies, baby. She steals the movie, dude. She <laughs> really does. Bar boobs steal the movie. <laughs> Kevin, you're a fucking sexual deviant. <laughs> I fucking hate Kevin Horton. <laughs> he he objectifies so women. <laughs> Subjectifying Adrian bar boobs. 
I don't even know who Adrian Barbosa is because I've never even heard of her. But you know what? The it's fact that Adrian Barbosa. Is it, what, what, it's Adrian Barbo. Barbo. Okay. Yeah. 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 Barbosa. I don't know what the fuck. Dude, I get confused. I just call. I just call her Adrian, Adrian Barboobs. All right. All right. We'll stick. We'll keep it simple, dude. Yeah. Not last, you know. People don't know who the fuck she is. Like motherfucker, I've been watching this game in New York since I was like fucking ten. Blue's face. <laughs> I'll stick my dick in your fucking eye hole, bitch. <laughs> Talk to her, baby. Dig it. Yeah, I take a picture of Snake Bliskin. Next time we go see Jason, I get my hair cut. I'm like, oh, my hair cut like this. <laughs> Huh? The Duke? Yeah. Make gas for it? Check Quite it the force, huh? Like what? Well, I gotta get across the 69th Street Bridge. It's mine, but I know where they'll find it. They got a diagram from a guy that got all the way across. Before they shot that poor bastard. Mm-hmm. We've got a crew up there now clearing away the first barricade. Now how'd they get the diagram from me? We're practically family. <laughs> I like how the cab driver thinks he fucking matters. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cabbie, get the fuck out of this movie, dude. <laughs> he turns out to matter, though. I mean, you know, like, at the end and shit, but... At this <laughs> point, it's like, eh. Well, I mean, it's Ernest Borgnine, though. I mean, he does. He's, I mean, that's a very important actor. Speaking of some badasses, just go. I might as well fucking gingerly jog, guys. He's like, I got such a workout that I had to do that like a hundred times. (laughs) My calves at the end, dude. Ah, they hurt. Speaking of badasses, Uh, there he is, Duke. So Duke, I love that fucking coat he's got, dude, with the little fucking the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. I want a fucking jacket like that. Like, Jerry the King of Lawler had a jacket like that, dude. Fuck yeah. Back in the 90s. That's fucking Isaac Hayes, though. Yeah. That's the fucking man. Yeah, Isaac fucking Hayes shit. is the fucking man, dude. And that's sad he passed away early. Yeah. I know it was like him, Bernie Mac, dude. Bernie Mac fucking died? That yeah. was fucking crazy. That was dude. pretty fucked up. Yeah. So what? Jack, what's uh, what's uh, Michael Clark, uh, Clark Duncan, too? He fucking... Yup. And, uh... Oh, I can't think of anybody else right now. My brain's dead. It kind of looks like Goku, dude. He's <laughs> <laughs> got Goku here. I'll go find the Dragon Balls, dude. <laughs> find all the balls. <laughs> I need snakes balls. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. I am the ultimate dragon. Wait here, boobs. <laughs> Brain and boobs. Stop calling me boobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweet cheeks. <laughs> oh, like how he just you know, I just pop him in the head. Pop, 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 pop. Grand Theft Auto style, dude. Steal that shit. Who's that? Hey, what the hell, man? Hey, man. My name's Ted Nugent, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A stupid fucking hat. <laughs> Cat scratch beaver. Still in that station. You don't see station wagons like that anymore, dude. Okay, so if Cabby takes off down this way, wouldn't he have run into all these fucked up people too? Who knows? I'm too high for that. Brandon. He doesn't really matter. I'm too high for that question. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. What direction did he go in? Oh, that fucking... <laughs> Global warming. That car is a fucking... No wonder they don't have those cars anymore. All that fucking exhaust coming off. 
Oh, chopped off head. Could have been the president. <laughs> I swear. Hit him. Oh, fucking assholes. Oh, fuck that. It's like, wow, Taking kids. That <laughs> I don't want to hold that. Like, no, I believe in gun rights. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the time here, guys. Yep, I'm gonna roll across. Get some extra. Jump on the hood, guys. <laughs> the girl at like Barboons has to save him. Don't. She has to prove she doesn't belong in the kitchen. <laughs> what? She has to prove she doesn't belong in the kitchen. <laughs> I can hang with you guys. Pop, pop, pop. All right. Let's roll. I'll roll with Andy, Adrian Barboons anytime, dude. Well, I would back then, but not, probably not now. No, I made the comment earlier, dude. No, dude, she's still sexy at 70, dude. She's a little fucking delayed. That took us six months! Yeah, that probably did took him a long time. <laughs> it can't be easy to lift. Maybe with multiple people. We're going to get like 10 people here today, guys. All right? I'll meet up at noon. We're going to lift these cars up. <laughs> that son of a bitch knocked him down. Fuck you, steak. I mean, it doesn't look like they're eating apples and oranges. You know? I mean... Any kind of well, what are you nutrition? doing at 12? I don't know, man. I got some shit. I mean... Go, nice. Come on, man. Let me lift these cars. Rock, but we can lift these cars, though. Lift them by hand. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cowbell. Like synth cowbell. Bro, it sounds like a synth. We want water? No, I'm good. I got water right here. What's up, dudes? So, uh, yo, what's up, man? What the fuck, did he text message you and not me? Because <laughs> I'm a bitch, that's You know how they did that? How? They're backwards. Oh no shit, they just pulled it out. Yeah. That's cool. Then reversed and it goes shoo. Oh yeah, they did cut his finger off. <laughs> I need to get fucking okay, egg out my heart. His face kind of looks like a bruised, like, penis head. <laughs> <laughs> like a bruised, limp dick. <laughs> Guy does look like a limp dick, dude. Donald Pleasance, first <laughs> thoughts would you... Donald Pleasance, tell me your first thoughts. Limp dick. <laughs> <laughs> look, there's no sound of them coming down. Oh, Alright guys, so you're gonna come up to me, I'm gonna punch you in the face, he's gonna come push me up against there, we're gonna rumble. Okay, okay. 
on three. Uh, just the way they did the sound effects, dude, the running and stuff, it just sounds... Oh, man. It's a lost fucking art, dude. I don't know. I, I love fucking, like, 80s films. Old sound films, design dude. and shit? Yeah, dude. Just the way they shot films back then. Like, fucking yeah. back in the 80s and 70s, dude. And even the 60s, you know, like, 50s, too. Like, I mean, they kind of hit the 90s. That's kind of when I started going to shit. Yeah, late 90s. Mid to late 90s is just a bunch of garbage fucking films. Like the Matrix? Like, who gives a fuck about The Matrix? It's a pretty... It's a, an Thank interesting you. film. But <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have them all. I mean, I own them all. Yeah, but. I mean, I, I, I've watched all three of them a while back. It is pretty interesting stuff. I mean, the first one was really good. I, never, I can never finish it. I bought them, dude. I got them all from, like, Goodwill. So I didn't pay that much for them. But, like, every time I try to watch the first one, I always get distracted and doing something else. Like, I start masturbating or something. I don't know. It's like, whatever. Hey, I'm going to fucking masturbate. I'm going to fucking watch The Matrix. Don't kill him just yet. Nick Pliskin. I heard he was dead. I heard of you. I should get a cowboy hat. Like, why can't we wear cowboy hats? I heard you were dead. He's not really a cowboy hat. <laughs> uh, kind of is, like a cavalry hat. Yeah. He originally wanted a pimp hat, obviously. <laughs> That's kind of open bad. Yeah, it is. See, that's not. See, that's all like. Like a bo- I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like computer generated. Yeah, anything. and they got the camera above it, and they're just going. Over. Yeah, I yeah. see what it is. I see how. It's, it's some sort it. of. I can't remember exactly how to explain it, but it's on the special features. If you're interested, just watch the goddamn. Special feature. They'll tell you all about it. Like, no, bro, I fucking downloaded the torrent, dude. I don't got the special fucking features. <laughs> I only have so much space on my computer, guys. It's got, like, gross little pimples all over his chest. Like, mm-hmm. Look, they're just standing <laughs> over watching him sleep. Cypher's kind of does look like a little bit like Donald Trump. <laughs> you yeah, like a good, strong, young Donald Trump. <laughs> That's a pretty cool looking shot. Yeah, it is. Yeah, back then it was. Wow. The World Trade Center. <laughs> See, Can't get a shot like that. <laughs> How about that New York skyline, guys? Looks a little different now. Now what? What they got the one tower or whatever? Yep, big giant tower. There's that, and then I think they put like two lights. Where the towers uh, used, used to be standing. So at night it all lights up. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Look, they're still just fucking standing there watching him sleep. Who's good jerk off his face first? I will. Give me one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> 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 we'll just watch. You go first. <laughs> no, no, no. You go. You go. This is a fucking cool looking fucking location too. I like this part when he gets in the fucking ring with that fucking guy. Yeah. And, uh, this part's badass. Well, that part when that part happens. That's a nice way of aiming, dude. I like that. It's like a, the set of a public access station. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody say it now. See his tattoo? Yeah. He's like, I got a big old cock. So they call me Snake. I got a black dick. Lay back down, Snake. We're trying to circle jerk here. <laughs> Yay! What's he rubbing right there? It's like a dead bird. Yeah, it's at my place, Duke. <clears throat> that said something. I don't know. Teach you. He lied. 
Poops are still in the scene again, dude. <laughs> Adrian Barbress. <laughs> is, is there a person there or is it just the boobs? I argue it's half and half. <laughs> that guy's like, oh my god. That guy's got a lot songs. of balls to fucking walk up there. Because who's to say that the fucking. The Duke would just start fucking shooting with him up there, too. Yeah, right? It's like, nah, man. <laughs> what a... I got a thing for bald... <laughs> I got a thing for bald, short, chubby guys. <laughs> Look like Bruce Le Dicks. <laughs> it's the first iPhone. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> you've, had the, you've had the iPhone since 1980? What? <laughs> what? He's like, oh, well, that tape's fucked. <laughs> the fate of the world. <laughs> and it's in Goku's fucking breast pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting pretty heavy now, guys. <laughs> See right there? Those buildings? Yeah. Those are all painted on a piece of glass. Huh. And Jim Cameron did that. You know, guys, uh, the guy who did Terminator and Aliens... Right. Well, dude, come on. Titanic, dude. That's his best movie ever, dude. Yeah. I don't know. The Abyss is probably his best film. Oh, The Abyss? Fuck yeah. Yeah. You can't mention James Cameron and, you know, little little girls from the, you know, teenagers from 2000, you know, fucking, you know, their vaginas get moist. Titanic! Avatar. Oh, Avatar, too. Yeah. Fuck Avatar. Yeah, fuck mm. shit. I want to have sex with an alien. <laughs> like, I chuck off to that shit now, man. Thank you, James Cameron. <laughs> well, that's the least I can do. Jacking on the little women. <laughs> <laughs> little blue women, fucking. Because <laughs> everything in that movie is little women. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't figure out whether that son of a bitch Bliskin was telling the truth or not. God, I hate that guy. <laughs> God, I hate that guy. <laughs> can't tell if Brandon now tell the truth or not, man. I fucking hate that. Guy. <laughs> Remember, dude, he's the brain, man. He's got that shit, like, fucking built in into his head. World Trade Center. That's it. There we go, the World Trade Center. It's going to be a hell of a lot easier for me to take off than it was for him to land. Fuck Snake, dude. We're all prisoners in New York City in exchange for... His glasses. 69th Street Bridge tomorrow. Bro, that's fucking hardcore. And look at his fucking... His wrist, dude. He's got, like, a little fucking stud... Leather stud fucking... The badass motherfucker, dude. Yeah. It's his watch. Oh, that is a watch. He's like, yeah, I like me some dead Kennedys. So much for your man, Hump. Warm up the chopper. Shut the fuck up, Donald. <laughs> 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 fucking Donald Trump, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a fucking asshole. <laughs> Piece of shit, Donald. <laughs> One day. <laughs> yeah. I'll show all of you. It's crazy how all this shit, and the rest of the film takes place in two hours. And it's like fuck. It's a lot to get done in two hours, dude. Yeah. Could barely fucking. Yeah. Fuck. They fucked that dude up. They're still checking them out. They're like, oh, damn it, I wish I could have gotten finished when I was jacking off. <laughs> Some bitch cut blocked me. 
Yeah. He's walking around like, yeah, fucking he is. I'm a real fucking... American. <laughs> I'm a real American. Fight for your rights. Fight for your last name, Bliskin. Or they gave him the fucking the eagle feathers like in uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia when they were doing that wrestling show for the troops. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> I need to go back and rewatch all that shit. Dude. It's was, a great fucking episode. I didn't see it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And then you got Frank as the garbage man. The fucking Roddy Roddy Piper. Yeah. The maniac loves you, boy. The maniac. I love Roddy Piper, dude. Roddy Piper, dude. Before he died, man, like like a year or two before he died, uh, he was doing a podcast, and it was fucking, it was just, it was great, dude. You know, Roddy Piper, man, just He's fucking, fucking talking shit, dude. Always fucking brilliant. I love fucking Roddy Roddy Piper. I love Roddy Roddy Piper, dude. He's like all time favorite, dude. Oh, who's this guy? Zangief. Yeah, Zangief, dude. Fucking street fighter. No, he's a wrestler. I don't know who he is. Oh um, my head. I'd have to look it up again. Well, Zangief was a fucking wrestler, too. (laughs) (laughs) That's probably where they got him from. Because a lot of Japanese uh, anime shit in the 80s was influenced by Road Warrior, Escape from New York, and Blade Runner. That makes sense. I believe that. It's, dude, very possible. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, no, I mean, it is. Yeah. Look at Fist of the North Stars, Road Warrior, and fucking... Oh, look, he's got that fucking thing on him. He's in the one percent, dude. Duke's the one percent. <laughs> Woody gives his food. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> 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 Lead the way from the neck up <laughs> on the hood of my car. <laughs> he said, "Yes, I will kill you. <laughs> I will kill you with my thighs with a tool." <laughs> Just dance with the Santa. Cheer louder. Be an awesome wrestling arena, dude. Like we should create this on the video game. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, yeah. this should make an Escape from New York video game. That'd be fun, dude. dude. Yeah, we gotta play through all. Dude, Fuck yeah. Some, they, they need to do that. Like, well, and then they did that sh- years ago. And then the second half of the game will be Escape from LA. Nah, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there later. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Oh! Kicked him in his bitch ass face. Oh! <laughs> I, I fucking I am fucking knocked backwards. Well, he's a, he's a professional wrestler though. He's WWF. Well, now we just have. Yeah, to you're gonna have to look it up because I can't remember his name. Yeah. He had sex with the cab driver. Oh. <laughs> Is that how he got his hat? Yeah. Fucking blue cabbie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Skate cabbie, you give me your hat, I'll give you a blowjob. <laughs> you type in WWE wrestler, and what comes up is like WWE wrestler. WWE wrestler with cancer. WWE wrestler dies. WWE wrestler's wow. toys. Aww. It looks like Roman Reigns has fucking leukemia. That's fucked up. Like they got him all dressed up like a girl. Ox Baker. He's a pretty badass. Yeah, Ox Baker. That's his name. This part's awesome. He passed away in 2014. He was 80. I remember when he passed away. I heard about it on Facebook. Who? Ox Baker, the wrestler. Hmm. About yeah, time he, was a, he, was an, he was a wrestler, though, back in like the... The late '60s, though, dude, like he was like wrestling with Stan Stasiak, Gorilla Monsoon, back in really like old, fucking really good wrestling. Well, in this fucking scene here, dude, he's really giving it to fucking Kurt Russell. <laughs> Seriously, so wrong. Ser- no, he is. <laughs> there, I mean, <laughs> that's even worse. 
So I mean, he's, he's about to fucking beat. I mean, he's really beating the shit out of him. Like he's fucking giving him. Okay, now you're correct. Okay. So check this out. So <laughs> on on June 13th, 1971, Ox Baker and his partner, The Claw, were wrestling in an AWA Midwest Tag Team Championship tag team match against Alberto Torres and Cowboy Bob Ellis in Nebraska. So Torres was injured during the match and died three days later. Though evidence indicated that Torres died of a ruptured appendix, Baker's heart heart punch was claimed that was claimed to be the death. Um, they say it, um, it, was, it was basically they took that death though and worked it into Baker's personal uh, wrestling persona. Oh Jesus, that's so they, fucked up. Uh, yeah, dude, he like killed somebody in the ring. Well, he's not. I mean, watch right here, right there. He's really fucking doing full swings on Kurt Russell with that fucking bat. So Kurt Russell is like really fighting him here. He has to like fight for his fucking life. Cause this guy's tr- it like, looks like he's swinging, yeah. yeah he he's is, dude. dude yeah. And he's really trying to fuck him up. And they had to tell him to fucking cool it. <laughs> yeah, he lived to be 80, though, dude. He got nailed. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Yo, I thought you said this shit was play- This is a show <laughs> No, bro, you gotta stay in, dude. Do you hit. Fucking Snake must hit all his poses, dude. Go hit the corners, bro. We're gonna play. I am over. Hit the fucking music! <laughs> Owen Hart. <laughs> they get the. He got his watch back. See how the hell he's gonna. Did he reset the time? Some shit. No, he, no, he's got an hour and a half left. The president's good. I like how he's Bring their president to still, too, dude. <laughs> he's not my president, no. He's your fucking president, even if you're in fucking maximum fuck me in the ass president. <laughs> That's probably all, how all the Trump supporters would fucking react if Donald Trump were to disappear. The president's gone! <laughs> I thought he wasn't your president, bitch! Fuck, dude, that fucking freak the fuck out and shit. CNN be like, where's the fucking president? <laughs> They'd be like blowing balloons. <laughs> The president's dead! The Woo! Democrats did something with Donald Trump. <laughs> the Democrats kidnapped Donald Trump. Jesus, John, John Kerry comes in. We're taking the president! <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole other movie right there. <laughs> Obama's all fucking in charge, dude. Like It's like that South Park episode, dude. <laughs> yeah. South Park did it. <laughs> South Park did it. South Park did it. <laughs> That's cool that he had that little little bitty car. (laughs) Give me that pack of cigarettes. (laughs) Let's have another cigarette, Bob. That's your 20th cigarette today now. (laughs) It's like, oh, it's only 10 (laughs) a.m. Smoke a whole pack by 10 a.m. Shit. There's very few times I ever went past a pack a day. That was only if I was drinking. Don't fuck up the goddamn glider, you stupid son of a bitch. See, just like we were talking about earlier, dude. Yep. The fucking stupid ass shit with nosedives. <laughs> Even when made by professionals. It's still you paid up. six dollars for this! <laughs> oh, that was probably sixty dollars. Or maybe sixty dollars. Yeah, that one, that one was a little bit more expensive. I mean, you gotta climb in that shit. Fucking things Captain, made out dude. of fucking styrofoam. <laughs> Don't fool with nicotine. <laughs> Nicoletti? Season, what's his name? I'm gonna fucking shoot you in the face, stupid ass bitch. Fuck you, brain, fucking me over. Shit. Don't make me Ted Bundy your ass. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Isn't it Zach Efron coming out of a Ted Bundy film? Yep. I saw like pictures of him on that shit. That shit looks fucking. It looks cool. It looks cool, dude. I like Zach Efron, dude. I don't, but I think he'll play a good Ted Bundy. Uh, I've always liked Zach Efron. Oh, 
He's like, God damn it. He's like, hey, hey, hey. I get first dibs on my dick. <laughs> well, you walking like a bitch, Snake. <laughs> you can stop selling now. The match is over. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's all, well, they just ran down like 110 fucking floors, dude. Give them a break. My calves are killing me. She's like, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> surprise! This is a surprise. We took out your engine. <laughs> now they stole it. Yeah. Come fight me for the tools to put it back together. <laughs> That was doing shit, dude. <laughs> hey. Look at these crazy white boys, huh? <laughs> I identify with black fucking people. Cat <laughs> <laughs> <Get> good shoot. Come, Cabby. It's about fucking time. Turn that shitty fucking music off! <laughs> hey, you'd never guess who gave me a blowjob. That fucking David Bowie guy. <laughs> fucking stole my hat. <laughs> <laughs> that's the joke of the fucking podcast. <laughs> that's our promo pick for this episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how'd you know? <laughs> I give me that type. <laughs> Look at Don Pleasance. He, he literally is one of my favorite actors. Fuck it. I got it, tape. Where's the pee-pee tape, Mr. President? You're the Duke! You're the Duke of New York! You're right, number one! You're the Duke! <laughs> my girl! <laughs> my girl! <laughs> That's what's great about Halloween 11 when they do the fake Donald Pleasant speech in there. He's like, oh, I got a It's like, oh, at least they got that part right, <laughs> you know? I got to kill Michael Myers! <laughs> oh! Snake! Calm down. We'll get there in fucking no time. There's no traffic. Come on. <laughs> You're the <laughs> only one driving right now. Have you ever had full blown aids? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's why his leg gave yeah, out. <laughs> my muscle just gave out because of the AIDS. Yeah, the AIDS fucking took over my leg. So by the end of the movie, he looks like Michael Stipes. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Stipes looks like he's fucking dying of AIDS, dude. He's looked like that way for like 30 dude, fucking years. Yeah, I was going to say that he that was his whole career. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Tom Hanks in Philadelphia. <laughs> Fucking Isaac Hayes is a meme. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac Hayes is the shit. You better shit your fucking mouth talking about Isaac Hayes, doesn't he? Well, it didn't kill him. He's like, hmm. But he does have balls on his face. <laughs> Fuck yeah, how does a fucking, that's pretty cool how a cab just blows in half like that. Like, well, I should be dead. <laughs> how about you, cab? You still alive? How you feeling? Mm-hmm. How you feeling, you piece of fucking shit? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, you dead? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> What's up with this fucking bridge? It's like the longest fucking bridge. And it's like, 
If you look at it, that's it's the bridge that right long, there. They're right. on they're on the edge of the bridge right there, but it keeps going for so fucking long. I know they drove like two miles across that fucking thing, dude. Oh bam! There goes Harry Dean Stanton. There goes the movie, guys. <laughs> She's like, no. Fuck, Adrian Barboobs will keep it alive though. Come on, boobs. Come on, sweet cheeks. He's like, come on, we gotta make you gotta make the rest of the movie good. Keep moving. Keep moving. Promise you can make me pancakes when we get back. <laughs> Sip, there's butter on that shit. Maggie. No, bro, you put peanut butter on your pancakes. Come on. Yeah, that shit's good. Fuck, I want some. Alright. I love this shit right here. She's like the most badass fucking character in the whole movie. Yeah, she really is. I got it, dude. So give me that gun. I ain't going nowhere. Harry Dean Santon's dead. This movie's over. <laughs> like, let's wrap it up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> let's bring it home. It's like, it's like, if you're going to kill Adrian Bar boobs, then there's no point in watching this movie anymore. We might as well just turn this off at this point. This part's so fucking badass, though. She's like, Motherfucker. His boobs just squeezed together. Oh, it's so perfect. It was the gun. Ooh. Look at her. She's doing sexy, too. Yeah, she is. Oh, look at her. She's getting off on it, too, dude. Yeah. Oh. This shot, this shot of her dead body here is done in John Carpenter's garage. <laughs> oh, no shit. They just did that at his house. Can we cop it off them donuts, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> so what was Tom Atkins doing the whole entire time on set? Oh, he's just eating a lot of fucking food. No, he's just smoking cigarettes. Yeah, That's the fucking cigarettes. problem. The guy just smoked fucking 40 cigarettes in this fucking movie. <laughs> true, 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 true. It's probably like the yeah, one yeah. shot where he's not smoking. <laughs> Gotta get a little Fucking bit Fucking Marlboro or Camel probably that helped pay for a lot of funding for this film. Oh, well, yeah, you guys want to fucking do a movie? Yeah, you guys, you guys like smoke cigarettes? There's a fucking pallet of fucking cottons. I expect all this shit to be smoked in six, in six weeks, guys. <laughs> be like Marlboro fucking penitentiary. Mm hmm. Who spots this the penitentiary these days, guys? Super companies. Big snakes wearing some like yoga pants. Well, I'd rock those fucking pants, dude. Fuck yeah. Who's wearing skinny jeans before they were fucking cool? That's right. I wear snake skin fucking pants, guys. It's clean shot. It's a good shot, dude. It's a good shot. Hey, where'd Snake Plissken go? This is it. The Where's final battle. That fucking Sosbury stick! Fucking chef! <laughs> Get the fuck on the ground. Like, no, I'll, take give, I'll give you, you my chocolate salty balls. <laughs> chocolate salty balls. Uh oh. I love this part right here. You're the Duke. You're the Duke. Hey, number one. Hey, number one. Mm. You're the Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy. See, that's the look of a guy who got fucked in the ass too many times. <laughs> oh. It's probably <laughs> true, too. Who would take that chair with the president? <laughs> Goku's like, hey, you want to see me fuck the president? He's like, oh, yeah, dude. Like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, a movie where Donald Pleasant's fucking rapes a dude. 
Um, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's hear all about it, Brandon. Fuck! It's a brilliant <laughs> film. I yeah, let's get it. <laughs> I'm the Duke of New York now. I'm my number one. <laughs> There's a cure for AIDS right there, dude. That's all that. That's all they've had to do this all these years, yeah. dude. But they don't want to go to Africa with that shit, so. Fuck. Look, they got a lot done in a, in a real short amount of time. Look, haha, it was all a joke, Snake. You didn't have AIDS after all. Placebo effect. That's- <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what they did in the second one. Like, oh, it's snake. <laughs> you know what these are? They're gazebos. <laughs> you mean placebo? No, I mean gazebo. <laughs> <laughs> you know the place where you go look at plants? Oh, is Tom Atkins smoking? Radio to Henderson president. They know the situation. They're uh, waiting for your broadcast. <coughs> Smoke a cigarette in front of the president. <laughs> Piece of shit. I don't think he really, he probably wants one. It's like, no, no, you gotta shave, President. Mr. President, you gotta shave that face. That's a face made for television. I like how they have to, like, rush him on the TV. It's like, I finally get to smoke a cigarette and shit. I haven't had a cigarette in, like, fucking two hours. We did get you out. A lot of people died in the process. I just wondered how you felt about it. Uh, like not a lot of people. I mean, there's like what three. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what, what do you feel about Adrian Barbeau dying? Who Dean Stanton gave his life for you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they very much. I'm on the air. John Hoffman. Yes, sir. Plenty of time to jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it in a minute 30. Tom's like, God damn it, I need to get him a beer. Fucking broken windows. (laughs) Get him in bed. Show him some pictures. God damn it. This part's pretty badass right here. Too tired. Too tired. That would be too if I thought I had AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> it's emotional. I want to give you a job. A blowjob. We make one hell of a team, Snake. I take the job. Why not? I'll be like, oh, I got nothing else going on. <laughs> Fuck it. You gonna pay me money? Names right. Pliskin. Poor names. We can do that too. I don't care, Snake. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you want to call yourself. Snake, <laughs> go fuck yourself. I can't, <laughs> can't put up your game table. <laughs> Stupid bitch, get that out of here. They can't have to deal with that guy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> about ready to go to HR about him. <laughs> this is great. In the greatest fucking endings of all time. Change the world. Oh. Whoa. Look at his face. He just shit his pants. <laughs> it does look like he just shit his pants. Like they got him where it depends. <laughs> oh, oh, so creepy. It's going down my leg. <laughs> Why? Why did I eat the fucking that? Tape out of there. It's the same music that was playing in the background when he was getting fucked in the ass over there. <laughs> oh. That's why he's like, oh, fuck. He's so he's like shitting himself because he can now. So he's shitting himself because his picture's broken. <laughs> the greatest, the greatest uh, fucking song for cinema, cinema history, dude, right here. Fuck yeah. Fucking hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, fucking Escape from New York, man. Thank you for uh, fucking sitting and uh, joining us for this film, guys. Beautiful. Final, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Fucking A, good movie. Look, if you look though, you got Romero, Cronenberg. He starts, he, uh, I think Raimi's in there too, Sam Raimi. He named all these these characters after film directors, like Romero's George Romero, Cronenberg's David Cronenberg, Raimi, Sam Raimi. Third Raimi's. Indian is, you know, representing the Indian. Uh, <laughs> it's fucking racist. So Kevin Ford, that's how you're gonna fucking end this shit? After an hour and a half of this podcast, we're going to end it on that piece of shit. (laughs) Fucking punk. (laughs) Bum.
Drunk. <laughs> Helicopter pilot. Three. <laughs> and four. Slag. <laughs> See, there's Ox Bakery. There he is. Where, where's fucking David Bowie looking guy? Oh, he's way up Dick there. Dick Warlock, dude. Oh, yeah. Dick Warlock was um, Kurt Russell's stunt double. Roy and Clark. Well, this makes me want to play some fucking Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Shit. All right, guys. Well, hey. There's dude, Larry Franco. Episode fucking three in the books. <laughs> Larry Franco. Um, yeah, dude. We will be back in two weeks um, with... Escape from Los Angeles, guys. Fuck We're going to yeah. continue this fucking Escape retrospective. LA, We're going to fucking uh, check in on Snake Blit- Bliskin years later. Uh, ladies Call and gentlemen. Snake. That's right. For Kevin Porter. His name's Bliskin, bitch. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Brandon Allen. We'll see you guys next time.